the first thing we can do is to insert the title text and the three variables, in this case represented by the chemical formulas for acetic acid, water, and chloroform. To make it look as symmetric as possible, we try to center the title text properly and, and also adjust the three variables in such way that they will be in the approximate same distance to the triangular corners. To get a clearer view of what we are doing, we first remove the grid. Now we can insert our calculated weight percents. To start a new set of data, simply click one of the radio buttons located below the edit field. For the last four data sets, we use the copy and paste method. As demonstrated here, the graphics will automatically be recalculated when toggling the radio buttons. We now have all the necessary information we need to draw a border line between the one phase and the two phase region. To do this, set off a few squares with the mouse. Create a curve by moving the squares with the mouse pointer. Use the points located to the left of the 1P or 2P text, as a helping guide regarding where to place the spline curve. It is time to colorize both regions but first we have to change from splain mode to fill mode. After a color has been selected, we can colorize the two phase region by left clicking the mouse. It is possible to move the scared fill point by the mouse. It is important that the black edges of the diagram overlap with the spline or color will bleed into other regions. We now have to select a fill point that is not already in use. Select fill point number 2 in a color. First, click the ternary plot help button to study a few examples of how to manually insert text using the edit field. Insert big sized text in both regions.
use the mouse to check the grid option and uncheck the symbol and text options. To save the experiment as the first in the list, select the upper list box element by single clicking it and insert a name for the experiment. Add the experiment to the list by pressing the B4 button. To save a high resolution image of the ternary diagram to the clipboard, click the button with the double triangle. After opening a copy and paste enabled program such as a word processor or a paint program, insert the high resolution image by using the paste option. It's just another Chemic School tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.